Good afternoon, everybody. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to the launch of the uh, SOFI Report 2019. So we actually have had some traditions of hosting the launch of the SOFI for a couple of times. I wish you know, we could do that every year after, after this. And uh, particularly, I wanted to thank uh, my, my friend, um, Lim Nancher, uh, Sharon, who is a great neighbor of us uh, some years ago, uh, in helping uh, arranging this meeting together with Raju and others. And I welcome uh, Rob, uh, Rob uh, Johansson, the uh, chief economist of USDA. We have some s same road from Minnesota, by the way. We'll tell you uh, what is the common road we have. And uh, Maximo Torero, uh, the, he used to be the director of our market trading institutions. And now he is the uh, assistant director general of FAO in charge of all the social economics um, work at uh, FAO. As also chief economist, right, if I remember correctly. And welcome back, uh, Maximo. And obviously, the other panel is here, who is going to speak about this year's report. I think for 2018, I think the latest number of FAO and other uh, institutions have come together really shows that the poverty, the hunger, hunger. So for, 29, uh, for 2018, the latest number we have, we have seen persistent hunger uh, around the globe. Yeah, more than 200, more than 820 million people still suffer from hunger. And these are three years in a row of rising. Uh, so it's a serious situation. Looks like people cannot hear me. Anyway, so I will continue. The, um, but the, not just the hunger, the other forms of malnutrition, uh, lack of micronutrients, uh, obesity, overweight, and so on. Uh, if I read the, the, the report correctly, that basically two billion people suffer from various forms of malnutrition. Now, why, why we have this problem? Many issues, for example, the climate change, uh, the continued the conflicts, refugee crisis, and so on. And this year, something that will come to haunt us, that is the economic slowdown, slowdown in many parts of the world, the global, at the global level, national level, the economic growth will slow down. And we have also seen the increase in inequalities. It's not just the, the people, uh, well, on average, getting so the, the growth is getting slower, but uh, the hungry people, poor people, will suffer more than the average. Now, um, well, obviously, IPRI continued to uh, work with others to end hunger and uh, malnutrition. I remember some years ago, the FAO, WHO hosted a conference, in probably 2013, uh, on, an, on acceleration of ending hunger and malnutrition, or the Global Nutrition Conference number two. And the IPRI was very much committed in supporting different efforts, different networks, uh, or different efforts in ending hunger and malnutrition. So we launched an effort called Compact 2025. The purpose of that compact is to help anybody in the world to use the knowledge, data, information to drive the effort in ending hunger and malnutrition. I think my personal belief is if, if we wanted to achieve all the SDG goals by 2030, we must end hunger and malnutrition first, maybe even before 2030, let's say 2025. So that's why we use Compact 2025. So once again, welcome. welcome. 